Welcome. In this video, we'll go over how you can track where your time goes and analyze data so you can manage it better and improve your productivity. So let's get started. To start tracking time, open Clockify, enter what you're doing and start the timer. When you start working on something else, stop the timer, enter the new activity and start the timer again. That's it in a nutshell. You'll notice that the previous activity was added to the list here. And here you can see the total time you've tracked that day and week. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can just click start without entering a description and add it later. In case you start working on this activity again, you can click the continue to restart the timer for it without having to type everything again. When you end the activity, it will be grouped with the previous one and you can see the individual entries when you expand the group. You can turn off this behavior here in profile settings to see entries in chronological order. Now, if you're working but you forgot to start the timer, you can either change the start time of the timer like this, or you can add the time manually after by switching to manual mode like this. At first, you'll keep forgetting about starting and stopping the timer, but as time goes by, you'll develop the habit. To make it easier, install Clockify on your computer and phone and add the browser extension. In addition to making tracking easier, these apps come with some useful features like reminders, Pomodoro and idle detection. Let's see how the extension works. Install it from the Chrome or Firefox store, log in and you'll see all your previous time entries. Tracking works just like on the web. Simply type the activity and start and stop the timer throughout your day. If you start the timer via the extension, you'll see that the time is running in the web app and you can stop it from anywhere too. This applies to desktop and mobile apps too. A great thing about mobile and desktop apps is they also work offline. So if you don't have the internet at some point, you can still track time and all track time will become synced once you're back online. Let's now cover some features that will help you track time more accurately. In settings, you can turn on start timer automatically. So a timer starts when you start your day and stop timer automatically. So it stops when you finish, which is very useful for dealing with runaway timers. To help you track time throughout the day, enable reminders so you get a notification when you work without a timer. So for example, if it's between 9am and 5pm, you don't have a timer running and it's between 10 minutes since your last entry, you'll get a notification to track time. And lastly, if you take breaks but forget to stop the timer, you can turn on idle detection. So the next time you leave your desk without turning off the timer, Clockify will ask you what you wish to do with the inactive time when you get back. Clockify can also help you take advantage of the Pomodoro technique designed for beating procrastination. The technique consists of working in 25 minute intervals and then rewarding yourself with a five minute break during which you can relax, slack off or grab a bite. It works like this. Enable Pomodoro and work on something for 25 minutes after which you'll get a notification that it's time to take a break. Start the break and once it ends, you get back to working. This whole workflow really helps you focus on the task at hand and millions around the world use it to improve productivity. Also knowing that the timer is running is motivation enough to focus and the break, that's just the cherry on top. This whole time we were talking about manually keeping track of what you work on. In addition to the timer, Clockify for Windows and Mac also comes with an auto tracker. You can just enable it here and it will record all the apps and websites you use throughout the day automatically. Then at the end of the day, you can see how often you switch between apps in this bar here and a detailed history which you can import to Clockify as entries like this. Auto tracker is also useful when you have unaccounted time that you forgot to track. For example, you can open the calendar in Clockify and see if you have any gaps in your day. If you have a gap, you can see what you are doing at that time in the auto tracker and manually add time by clicking and dragging in the calendar. The calendar shows you how your day looks at a glance and helps you notice work patterns across days. So for example, you might notice that you waste your afternoons on emails. So you might want to limit hours when you check your emails 
or use the time boxing technique to plan out your day. You can even connect Clockify to your Google or Outlook calendar and compare what you planned versus what you actually did. Be sure to check out our other videos to see how you can manage hourly rates, track team activity, and improve business processes.